Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I hope you're well. Today we're doing a live with my best friend, Amelia. So as you can see from the title, it is... Right, I've just invited Amelia. Let's see if she's here. I've invited her. Hello, good morning. Good af Actually, good afternoon. How are you? I'm all right. How are you? Lovely to okay. see you. Lovely. Lovely to see you. Happy Easter. I think we can still say that. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Uh, so did you get a lot of Easter eggs this year? Um, yes, one. <laughs> Big one, though. <laughs> it's good. That's still good. I got a box of um, Heroes. You know the Cadbury's Heroes? Uh -huh. They're the best. Oh, yes, lovely. once you open it, I can't stop them. So yes, that's that's what happened to my, to my family. <laughs> Lots of chocolates. Lovely. So yeah, um, it's been a long time I haven't seen you. How's it? How's life going? How's everything with yourself? Um, good. I I enjoyed some time off work, and uh, my brother visited. So oh, um, nice. yes, I feel refreshed and recharged and deeply nourished. Yes. Good. How well, are you? well. Yeah. Um, well, we're, I'm fasting at the moment. So um, it's the last uh, 10 days. Uh, it's now the nine mm -hmm. days now. So it's really intense in terms of uh, uh, worship um, and, you know, just enjoying and embracing every single day. So um, it's pretty cool. It's the school holidays at the moment. So it's a blessing for us. Uh, so mm -hmm. there's children, they're fasting as well, but they're at home. Lovely. So that's a good thing. Yeah. So, yeah, let's go back to our, uh, a topic uh, for the day. So reading strategies for IELTS listening. My goodness. So we need to do both. Yes. Um, and surprisingly, uh, we often forget that the um, reading skills that we learn are not just for the IELTS tests, IELTS reading test. Yeah. Um, the next level of it is that um, IELTS, the, the reading strategies are helpful in the listening test, in my humble opinion, or not so humble, actually. Um, you know, and, and, and also, you know, apart from being useful in life, um, you know, with IELTS specifically, I think there is a lot of that going on, like we don't understand that we're doing it not just for the IELTS test, not just to, to make an examiner happy and for them to give us the score. It actually means something more. Uh, we learn tools, we learn strategies, we learn techniques that will be helpful to us beyond the test. The IELTS test was designed to help us acquire all those skills, um, practice all those techniques, strategies, tools, but not just for IELTS. Um, it's just- Do you know what? You've said, do you know how many times you've said that? You've said not just for IELTS, you've said it four times. I swear I'm going to do a hashtag, not <laughs> just for IELTS. Right. Just because you said it four times. So I think, guys, I think Amelia's trying to say, even if you're preparing for IELTS, it's not just for IELTS, okay? She keeps saying that, so get that in your head. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, and so um, IELTS listening. Um, um, you know, IELTS listening test is, if you think about it, it's text-based. Um, the conversations that you hear on the tape have been written. Yeah, okay. Okay. And um, when you listen to, for example, someone giving a lecture or a presentation in the IELTS test, which is very common, you will hear at least one within your IELTS listening test. Well, uh, then knowing how texts are organized and how people think when writing should help you. And so um, the both strategies of skimming and scanning are useful when you listen and also specifically when you prepare to listen. So uh, before every section you're given some time to read your questions and so um, your task will be to read the instruction carefully as well as the questions. Just a sweet reminder yes, uh, so that you know what you need to do. And, and then have a look at the question. So uh, both strategies of skimming and scanning will be useful to you. And uh, it may sound a little bit wacky, but when you listen, you also can apply those, you know, the, the, the principles, the concepts beyond, be, beyond those strategies to, to how you listen. Because we listen for general 
um, understanding and we listen for detail as well, just like we read for general understanding and we read for detail and so um, these are much more connected than we like to think. So what tools I mean so basically they are interconnected I, I understand that now um, I want to say something really random it's got nothing to do with this but it's very appropriate do you know what I feel that I can't listen properly until I've got my glasses on do you mm -hmm. get that feeling? Because I am blind without my glasses. Um, nothing to do with what you're saying. But I just had to say that. That my other senses tend to be a bit more clearer when I've got my glasses on. So there is a connection. There is a link. So basically, are you trying to say there is a tool that we are forgetting to use when we're listening? My tool is my glasses. <laughs> so is there, is there a tool in adults while we're listening? <laughs> well, I, I, the, the tool is the reading tool, really, and right. especially with the IELTS test, um, you know, um, in real life, we depend on visual clues as well. Yeah. And most of the time, I would say probably 99% of the time, it's the image, it's the video, because this is, you know, this is how we watch TV, this is how we watch videos on YouTube or any other social media platform. Um, uh, you know, even newspapers or books usually contain some sort of an image. image yeah. And in IELTS, there are no images, but there is text. And so it is, um, if you think about it, it's quite logical to make sure that you master your reading skills when approaching listening in a test like this. And okay. so um, there is a lot of clues in the text, in, this, in the question. So um, normally in life, we have those visual clues uh, here we're faced with a recording that is played for us from the speakers and so we don't know what's coming right we don't have any support as we listen uh, well we do have it in the form of the question that is in front of us in the question booklet and so it's important to first of all focus like there is no tomorrow um, yeah, don't definitely. get distracted um another thing to to talk about with ielts listening is please don't try to outsmart it the okay. uh, instructions are given to you in the most kind of optimal fashion and so yeah when um yeah we, you, you you just need to follow the instructions. If they give you time to uh, read to questions one to six, read questions one to six. They are silly, very simple. This is the beginning of the test. They can be boring. Yeah. Don't let that fool you. Um, make sure that you know what questions are coming. You see the keywords in the questions. You know more or less the topic of the conversation that you're going to hear. And that's in a way is your reading strategies. Again. Right. So um, how do you apply the principles of skimming? You said time is valuable and you're doing two skills in one. During the listening exam, you're actually reading as well. That's a lot of stuff to do. So how would you apply the skimming principle? Because you always talk about skimming and scanning. So how would you apply that? So, well, skimming is about the bigger picture, really. Okay. Right? It's about knowing the, the, the topic, knowing the, the general uh, idea behind um, the text, in this case, conversation. And so skimming will be uh, looking for also how text is organized. And again, this is what we learned where, uh, when applying skimming to reading uh, in IELTS. So look for um, any um, ways the text is organized on the on the on the paper so the the format uh, of it and then um any headings um the any titles any um very important when filling in a table gap okay. a table that will be looking for uh, through the um the columns or how rows are named in that table. Uh, all of that are organizational clues for mm -hmm. us to follow when we listen to the recording and then want to quickly orientate ourselves within the, the note that we have to fill in. Um, Can I ask so, a sub question? Um, you know, in the listening exam, so would you, might, do you think you might get a question about filling in a table like the horizontal and the vertical columns? Would you get that in the exam? Really? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, okay. it's quite a common task in IELTS, and and again, um, you know, there is panic. You know, we mm -hmm. are just settling in because uh, listening is the first test of the day. So, you know, a lot of nerves, tiredness, yeah, whatever then, happened during the registration. Um, you know, there can be anything. And so um, it's quite important to have something um, to, to help you settle and to help you ground as you, as you um, uh, start the test. And one of the things is to find those anchors as if in how, you know, in how the, in the layout. And um, when it comes to, to um, note completion or table completion or diagram com completion. Um, if you, I encourage you to have a look through the sample IELTS test and you will see that they are organized, they are structured and they have some features that help us identify the main, let's say, um, principles behind behind the organization of the of the note. Okay. Yes. So it's a table. We have either the names of the columns or the names of the rows. Yeah. Then we have uh, a, a diagram, uh, let's say um, a plant, and then there will it will probably be divided in some sections okay. or into some okay. parts as well. Mm -hmm. And that's skimming. Oh so I was just going to say um do do the students do they get the um the the paper for writing the answer in before they listen to the tape or the audio so they so will they get that answer? in the IELTS listening test you first um, have um, you know the questions in front of you either on the computer screen or on paper right. um, paper based IELTS is still available as far as I know and so um, the instructions are um, to give you some time to read through the questions before oh, you listen. Good. And oh, this good. is the advantage we have uh, to compensate for that lack of visual clues that mm. we're used to. So we've talked about skimming. So then, so if they're giving you that opportunity, how many minutes do they give you before they press the order? Several seconds. I think it's mm. 30 seconds. Uh, about 30 seconds to look at a question. So sections one, two, and three in the IELTS listening test are divided into two parts, okay. which okay. means that you don't have to read the entire questions, and please don't. Uh, okay. Just concentrate on the questions they are asking you to read. And then section four, you, you have to read through all of it, and then right. you listen to the entire section at the end. That's why it's uh, not the favorite oh. <laughs> of question. Okay. So, um, you know, you're talking about skimming. I, I understand what you mean because of the time element. So is it for question four, they need to do more, um, is scanning more helpful at that stage for the last question? Um, you scan it. Mm -hmm. Then Both think. are helpful throughout the test because okay. scanning is about finding keywords. Okay. And so just again, like uh, we answer questions in the reading test, the, uh, there will be keywords in the, um, in the text we have in front of us during listening. And mm -hmm. those keywords uh, will be our, as if, landmarks, the... Um, or um, there is another name for it, uh, it will come to me. Okay. But basically, we, um, we orientate ourselves um, in, on the page as we listen, thanks to those keywords. So okay. they will most likely be synonyms because that's IELTS, um, but they will help us keep track of where we are on the page as we listen to the people speak on the tape. And that's crucial because one of the most um, uh, common problems we have when listening like that and having to answer questions is not getting lost in okay. being said versus what we can see. So again, keywords are, are the, the anchoring. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you know what? If student actually what listen to these lives that we do I think it would help them so much because it'll just calm them down it's a strategy even if our English could be good like for example um, I'm, I'm 
I can speak in English. But if I didn't hear this, if I didn't listen to your advice, I'd probably go in, waste my time, and probably lose valuable points and marks. Because it's all to do with strategy, isn't it? Yes, and you know, like anything, it's it needs to be okay. practiced. And yeah. I guess um, you know, applying a few tips like the ones we have just given you um, gives you um, a head start. You know, you don't have to, um, you know. Uh, learn everything the hard way yourself you know you, you have somewhere uh, you can start um, uh, that will hopefully help you go through this a little bit um, more efficiently and you know answer more questions more and uh, more questions correctly yeah right ladies and gentlemen we have one student here. people are coming and going I think it's because it's like middle of the week and people are not used to seeing us on a <laughs> Wednesday, but that's okay. Uh, welcome to everybody who's here. There's one person who's watching at the moment. That's fine. Welcome. Right. I just wanted to ask you, you, you you've been mentioning about section four. Um, so tell me more about this notorious section four that you think that nobody likes. Tell me more about section oh, four. Oh, it's, it's famous. And again, it's got a bad fame. And I think um, while, you know, um, is it famous? How to put this? It's not infamous. <laughs> Famous for the wrong thing. Um, I don't think it's such a monster. Um, <laughs> so infamous. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I think I'm slightly biased here, but um, again, I am not being paid by IELTS to say all these things. Oh, um, yeah. Yes, we're not being sponsored by them, guys, in case you're wondering. No. <laughs> it's just um, one thing. Thing we need to remember again I should trademark it um, IELTS was not made to be impossible to do and that also um, uh, means that section 4 in the IELTS listening test is not that horrible so please do not approach it with that you know um, assuming that it's it's some kind of a horrible thing to do okay. it's not uh, it it does require more attention. Yes, things get a little bit more uh, difficult. One difficulty is that something you can handle when you apply the um, reading strategies. Um, so you are given 30 seconds to read the, through the entire section four, and then you listen to the entire section four. So this is a very, very good opportunity for you to really make a good use of the skimming and scanning strategies. Mm -hmm. As you read through the question to make sure that you reach the end of the question, the bottom of the page, and to make sure that you're prepared for what's coming. Um, and again, you you will do that thanks to skimming, knowing uh, what the context of the conversation you're going to hear is about. And then thanks to scanning, you will notice the keywords that will help you catch the right information, the answers to your questions, and not to get lost as you listen and follow the, um, what you hear with what you ha have on the, on the paper. Brilliant. My goodness, if you were my IELTS teacher, I'm sure I'd get full marks, I swear. Because you seem like a very caring person in the sense that you know you know exactly the pitfalls of where students fall in, fall into. And um, so, ladies and gentlemen, big, big shout out for Amelia. IELTS with Amelia, please follow her. She's very experienced. You, you've seen how much detail she's going into for every single skill. So it will be valuable uh, time spent, well spent, if you actually follow Amelia and follow her content. We're friends, so we're, we're always here for you guys. But um, thank you so much, Amelia. Do you know what? You should become a biology teacher. You'd be <laughs> so good at them. Like me, I'm a biology teacher. Um, but You'd be was, so good with the company. Oh, is Yes. Oh, okay. Just, uh, just, I'm just going to seed into her head. Later on, she might ask me. We, we'll see. We live in hope. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Amelia. Um, ladies thank and gentlemen, you. like I said, if you've got IELTS coming up, if you're getting ready for September intake or perhaps January or even June, some, um, some universities are open for June and August. Uh, do watch Amelia on IELTS with Amelia. Um, she's got lots of courses coming up. Is there anything nice coming up in terms of courses and sessions that we should know about? 
for now, I have um, the usual um, beautiful memberships uh, for IELTS reading and writing. Uh, you can join those. Um, I made them as affordable as possible. Um, those memberships include live calls, uh, regular live calls, and you have access to all the previous uh, you know, um, recording. recording. The um, I take you through different questions, both for reading and for writing. We do, we do it together. You're not alone. Oh, brilliant. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. You've got an all-in-one package. We've got Amelia, who actually helps with all the four skills. She's very qualified. She is Delta qualified, which is one of the highest qualifications you need to teach English language. She is very experienced in IELTS, and I would highly recommend. I feel very short. I, I want to do the exam. Actually, while you talk, I'm thinking... I should do the exam. That's how I feel. So I don't know if you guys feel like that. If you do, write in the comments box. Uh, what's this got to do with UK Bright Education? Just a quick um, call to action. We also help with um, admissions for English language courses. So if you'd like to come over the summer holidays, Easter's come and gone, uh, to learn English language, and you may need a, a visitor visa letter perhaps, um, UK Bright Education, we do actually have partnerships where you can study uh, English in in england either in oxford brighton and in london so if you'd like that um just dm me uh with regards to english language testing i do have an affiliation link with the oxford ellt test i'll put that in the box in the caption below if you feel that you want to do a quick test online get your results and um, there might be a discount code there just look at the caption i will take from there thank you so much amelia you've been absolutely thank a star you. Um, any ideas? I'd like to put in a spot. Um, oh, Smart Cornell, thank you for coming. Right, uh, do you have any uh, thoughts about what we can do next? Because I don't remember. <laughs> I I'm remember. going to dive into the scanning skill a little bit in more detail. Mm -hmm. So um, do watch our previous live. It's about skimming. skimming yes, you've done and, that. Um, yes. The next one is scanning. Brilliant. I'm looking looking forward to that this applies not just to IELTS but like she said what was the hashtag I was supposed to use not just for IELTS what was it you said yes not just for IELTS, not just for IELTS. So I'm gonna do that we're gonna be the best ones <laughs> thank you so much and um, I hope to hear very soon bye 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 guys